What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button if you like this video, that helps us out. Uh, but today, we're gonna be talking about an alternative way of trying to get a little more hook on the ball beyond the yo-yo. As you know, the last video, we talked about that yo-yo technique, and for some people, they, they struggle a bit with that because maybe they don't have the right axis tilt or the right angle of rotation, and so they're struggling with, with that particular motion. And I did a video uh, several months ago about how you can use other equipment beyond bowling equipment to help with your, with your, uh, to help with your release, and the football is my favorite of all of them to use. And the reason being is, if you can spiral a football underhand, then you can properly hook the ball in bowling as well. It all comes down to what you're doing at the release. Now, if you remember from the yo-yo technique from the last video, we talked about going from a bent wrist, bent elbow, to straight at the bottom. Everything is straight, and you're uncupping everything, and then you're coming back through. Well, if you're gonna throw a football underhand, you'll notice that when I actually throw an underhand spiral, my wrist is very cupped. It's straight here, but I can actually come through if I really wanna make it tight and, and spin hard, I will bring my elbow in and I will do the same motion. It's all about at the very bottom, straightening that wrist. That gets that football starting to turn over. And then when we talked about ripping back up this way, you know, straight and not turning your hand over, same thing with the football. As you come through and you start to rotate the football as it comes off your thumb, you're gonna rip up on the laces and come up this way. That's gonna be what gets that ball to spiral. So as you're going through and you go to throw it, okay, it's the same thing as a bowling motion, okay? You're still gonna go from bent to straight and come through, it allows you to spiral the football. So, I've got Tyler over here helping me out. So, if you want to incorporate your, uh, your steps into it, you can do a one-step approach. And get a nice spiral on the ball. You can bring in all of your steps. So, hold the ball like you would in bowling, take your normal steps and all of your motion, and everything is still going to be the same. That wrist motion at the bottom is the exact same. So, Using a football, being able to spiral that, is a good way to go. Now, if you can't spiral the football, there's some things that we need to look at at how you're holding it. So in terms of holding the football, we're not typically gonna be holding right over the middle of the laces. We're typically gonna be shifted down this way. So if we look at where the laces are, my two fingers, which would be the two fingers on the bowling ball, come over the bottom two por portions of the laces, and they're not straight, but they're angled a little bit, so that ball is angled so that it rests in my palm. So this is how I'm holding the ball. Now what you think about what the nose of the football is on this side, this represents sort of your PAP or that particular point of the ball that's going to spin because as you throw a, the ball in the spirals, you imagine your PAP over here spinning. And then the opposite end of the, the nose of the football obviously spinning on the opposite side. So if we think about how you're holding the football, if you can't spin it, one thing is you might be holding it wrong. If you're holding it here, try moving your hand down and rotating in your hand a little bit. Secondly, the other thing you might be doing is your hand might be coming over because a lot of people when they try to spin a ball, they naturally do this, which is what we do in bowling a lot. And if you do that with a football, you can see that ball is not going to spiral. That ball is going to wobble. We don't want the wobble, we want the spiral. In order to spiral, don't get your hand over, go from do this motion, cup to uncup, and then up with your fingers. If you do this, you can see that ball starting to rotate, and then as you come through with your fingers, it will then spiral. So if the football is not spiraling when you're throwing it underhand, then it means you're likely either not holding it right or you're not doing something right with your hand. So if you can practice and get it down to where you've got this motion down, then you're set for bowling and you just need to then incorporate that into bowling. You can get this down first, then transfer it over to bowling. And I'll show you how you can do that with a bowling ball. All right, so now how do we incorporate the football throw with the spiral into bowling? I'm gonna use the nine pound ball again because this is a good way to start. Uh, so if you remember from the football where your fingers were on the laces, I wanna represent the laces being right here underneath the fingers, but because we talked about it being not straight but actually angled, the football being angled, I want the same thing, I want the laces to be angled. And so I'm actually gonna take this ProSect, which I borrowed from the Pro Shop, and knowing that that I also was not grabbing the center of the laces, but I was grabbing down a little bit on the laces. 
I'm going to shift it this way a little bit, and I'm going to draw a line from one end of the ProSec all the way around to the other end. It's kind of hard to see. I will show you in a minute where, the, where that line is. I want to draw a second line from that same corner where I ended that particular one. I'm going to take it right here, and I'm going to shift it up here to right about where the thumb hole is, just above the thumb hole. I'm going to draw a second line. All the way around. Okay, and now that distance, I'm going to try to duplicate it again with a third line from the same intersection point, probably just below the thumb hole. And again, this is going to be kind of hard to see, but hopefully what you can see on the ball here are these white lines. These white lines are going to be in the shape of a football. So if you look at what the shape of a football is and you look at the shape of those lines, we're basically drawing a football shape on the bowling ball. With the idea being that, with the idea being that this line represents the laces Okay, the center line representing this center seam and this other line representing this other seam back here. So it's going to be like visualizing a football. So, and then I still have that piece of tape from the last video and it is on that, that center point, you know, or that nose of that football. So that's going to represent where the nose of the football is. So the idea is when you visualize, try to visualize this as a football. And this is the laces. So I'm going to put my fingers on the laces and as I visualize the football here, I'm going to visualize that I'm grabbing that football. And now I want to picture, okay, I've got a football in my hand. And now I want to try to envision that I'm throwing a spiral out on the lane. With that particular grip, I'm envisioning that I'm holding a football. And if I'm holding a football, I got the nose of football here, nose of football here. And I want to envision I'm spiraling it. I'm going to pretend that Tyler is standing down on the end of the lane. And I'm just going to throw the ball to him as if I'm throwing a football. Okay, so spiraling and you can see with that piece of tape representing the nose of the football how it's spinning just like what a football would do so if the, if the tape is not spinning correctly you're not properly envisioning it like a football keep working on it keep practicing it and really try to just focus on I'm holding a football just tell yourself I'm holding a football nose of the football spiraling you don't have to take all your steps because when we were throwing the football, when I was throwing the football to Tyler, I was simply taking one step and throwing it to him. So same thing here, I'm holding a football. I'm going to just spiral that football down there. So now I want to do the same thing with my own ball. So with my own ball, draw that first line. Second one a little bit closer to the thumb hole. Third one on the opposite side of the thumb hole. So there we are. You can see the three lines I've got. This is a much bigger looking football because I'm not throwing a conventional grip here, but my finger holes, which are right here, are going to be resting basically right on the, uh, right on the laces with the nose of the football being down here, which I, again, I can go back to putting a piece of tape on the nose of the football. I need to put a thumb in. So now I want to envision, okay, I'm grabbing this football at the laces. Here's the rest of the football, and I'm grabbing around the football. Here's the nose of the football, and I want to throw it just like I would throw a football with one step. Okay? Spiral. Throw a spiral throw. That's going to get the kind of rotation we're looking for. So now in doing this, I'm stripping everything else out. I'm not worried about my, my push away, my steps, anything else. I'm simply concentrating on get it back here, take that step, and spiral it like a football. So now you want to bring all your steps into play. I'm going to strip everything else out. I'm not going to think about my push away, my steps, anything else. I'm simply going to think about once I get to here, I've got a football in my hand. I'm going to throw a spiral to my buddy. Spiral to my buddy. All right, that's how you're gonna get proper rotation on the ball. 
Now, if you're really comfortable with that, if you throw nice and easy and you don't do a whole lot, you know, you can spiral it little, but then if you want to try to spiral it fast and get more revs, you're really going to focus on even quicker, really kind of snapping and flicking that at the bottom. That's how you're going to get a faster rotation on the football. Same thing will hold true with a, with a bowling ball. So you can nice and easy throw a spiral to your friend and you have good rotation, or you can tight spiral it, get that flick at the bottom using that going from bent to straight and back up again. Tight spiral is going to create more rotation. So hopefully this helps. Um, if you can, hit that, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you guys on the next video.